All right. This is for you producers who got questions about GarageBand and MPG24. Uh, that's what I use to make my beats. A lot of people got questions about it, so I'm going to just address some of those questions. By the way, my thing is I, I had the input in, in my computer kind of messed up, so I'm using this microphone. Really ghetto Target special kind of microphone, $7. Works good. I don't care. Use it for used it for my, uh, what was it? Senior year on the talent show, won first place, beatboxing. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, um, let me just show you this. I have a, a I show you video too that showing um how to, you know, how my workstation looks. Now let me just show you this real quick. All right, this is my these are my presets. My presets nickname is Boom Baths. Just because I, I thought it fit, so I'm just using it. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna show you this real quick. Okay, now, ah, this is gonna be kind of hard. Bear with me. Um, I'm gonna just go something random. I'll go all the way to default, and I'll click the. Once you do that, you click the edit button. Now, once you press edit, it's it's gonna show these little lit like it's gonna show the little kind of like f1 basically it's saying fader number one and it's it's kind of coded right here at the bottom and stuff um i'm gonna press pad one and i'm just gonna show you this when you press pad one it's telling you you're gonna set pad one now when you click the little middle button it says 84 that's the note okay now these are note settings basically what it means by note settings is that you're setting the pads to the keys on the on the uh, what's it called? Um, musical typing, right? And you should be in sound effects when you're in musical typing. That way you can drag samples to the keys, okay? It's very ghetto, but I guess they snuck that in just so people can start sampling when they want to. Um, excuse me. Um, so basically, note 84 is basically note 84 on the keys. It's kind of almost obvious, but they don't really code it with numbers, so you wouldn't know. Um, now, if you look at it like this, if you were to put, if you were to set this all the way to one, if you were to set that all the way to, to one, then you should go all the way back in octaves to the lowest note on your uh, keyboard, on the, on the keyboard, a little mini keyboard thing. Then you could set everything up every half step, you know, so basically going from C what is it, C8, C negative 8 to C sharp negative 8 to D negative 8, you know, or whatever, you know. This is basically going that far, okay? So you set it up like that. And once you do that, um, you can just do everything in order. And then you can keep going up because it goes up on the banks. And I say start from the bottom. I say start from pad 1 because if you were to start from pad 16 or pad 13, whatever, um, it's going to be kind of going backwards so i'll say start from pad one and go up because that's pretty much what's it. that's easier to do it's like reading left to right you know it's, it's the easiest way to read i mean i've never seen nobody read it from right to left so yeah um anyway the mty don't even worry about that i'm pointing the wrong way don't worry about mty it's basically just saying momentary it's telling you that as soon as you press the keys uh that's when it's going to play now you can change it to toggle but i don't suggest it because it's basically like you're toggling, you're turning it on and off. So you're pressing it to turn on the note, and then when you're pressing it, it's it's turning off, like it's turning off. But you got to press it again, like you got to press it twice to turn it off, kind of thing. Um, CPR is basically when you're reviving somebody and you wake them up, they about to die. No, I'm just playing. Uh, CPR is something random. I don't know what that is really. Um, CC, that's I left it there just because, you know, all my preachers are at CC, and you know, if someone were to explain that to me, that'd be cool. That's just the MIDI channel, though. So, yeah. Excuse me. Um, but sorry, I'm burping. But um, this little thing right here in the middle, right there, that shouldn't be on your MPD. Cause if it is, then it might be my MPD. So, yeah. Anyway, that's basically how this is hooked up. This MPD is like going dead. If you were to notice, because like I don't know, it just turns off occasionally for no reason, and I gotta keep like re re putting it in and. You know, stupid. But anyway, I probably post two videos tonight because this is kind of long. But 
It's all good. Thanks for watching. Peace out.